Dragon Ball The Breakers has been out for a nice little while now, and we're still constantly getting people that are buying the game daily and, you know, still experiencing stuff as new players. But one thing we haven't done as a community, we haven't been together and kind of helped those new people get acclaimed with the game. So that's what we're doing today with episode one in the Did You Know series, where we take a look at five different things you may not know in Dragon Ball The Breakers. Now, before we get started with today's video, I would love it if you guys would drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, and also turn on the post notifications so you'll never miss out when a new video goes live. Starting our list off today, did you know the only time you will see Namekian civilians is when the Freezer Raider is being used? Civilians in Dragon Ball The Breakers are typically just the normal standard Dragon Ball characters who are, you know, not doing anything. But you may have noticed sometimes the civilians are Namekians, which this only occurs when the Frieza Raider is being used. And typically, these Namekians will carry Dragon Balls as they did in the Frieza Saga. People who often already play as the Frieza Raider may have already noticed this small fact, but others who didn't kind of pay attention to it may find it as a surprise that the developers decided to add in this small detail for Frieza to be able to collect the Dragon Balls from the Namekians as he did in the show. Did you know that certain Trine Spears have different key blasts depending on the level of your change power? Trine Spears are the lifeline of the survivor team and every last one of them can be risen from a level 1, 2, or 3. But what you may not know is that each Transpear when used can have different key blasts based off what level you are currently. For this example, I've taken Super Saiyan Vegeta's Transpear and demonstrated his different key blasts on all three levels. Starting out at level 1, he'll have the no generic choice. Raider style key blast. Following that, at level 2, is a Gallic Gun. And then finally, in Change Power 3, he has a stronger key barrage. It is interesting to note though, that although the basic input key blast changes, your skill selected will not change. That means if you have the Big Bang Attack selected, you will still have the Big Bang Attack no matter what level of your change power. Did you know it's possible to perform a Dragon Change immediately after one is finished? To do this, Players need to be equipped with cooldown drinks that would normally refill their percentage after a change has occurred. But once you have those, you're going to want to drink those while still in your change state. After doing this, when your current change ends, you'll see that you're still able to perform a change again immediately. Players that do this are kind of benefited in those situations where you run out of change power where the raider is almost dead or you will be able to just get yourself back into the fight immediately. And for those that may ask, yes, this does work also with a level 4 change power after you've summoned it through Shenron. You're still able to use this, I can't call it a hack or anything, but this is still a very useful, useful fact about the game. And so just remember, whenever you try to use this, you have to, have to, have to make sure that it's enough cooldown that would normally refill your meter to 100% at any other situation. Did you know that you're guaranteed a new Transpear skill or outfit when you buy 10 summons? Summons can be one of the most nerve wracking things in this game because sometimes you can summon literally a dozen times from tickets and zenny and tokens that you've earned and still not get anything new. But something the community may not know is that you are actually guaranteed a new Transpear, super attack, skill or outfit if you buy a 10 summon. Now to clarify, that does mean as in with Zenny or TP tokens, this has not been proven to be the case when it comes to tickets. So if you ask me, it's a pretty good idea to save that Zenny and those TP tokens because you never know what you may be trying to get. Did you know that some raiders have their own unique wishes? Gathering all seven Dragon Balls is on a lot of players lists as a thing they want to do as a survivor and a raider. But some newer players may not know that some raiders have their own unique wishes that they can ask for upon collecting all seven Dragon Balls and summoning Shinron. The two normal wishes that every raider has is give me even greater power, which will then grant them a strength greater than they have, taking their evolution higher, and heal my wounds, which will get rid of any battle damage they've taken. 
But some raiders have unique witches, such as Frieza, who has Make Me Immortal, which will get rid of any battle damage he's able to take and he'll be actually immortal in the game as the raider. Also with their own unique wish is Nappa, but Nappa's wish is kind of different and they've done him a little bit more justice. Where Nappa, he has the same wish as Give Me Even Greater Power, only difference is it has a different description at Show Me An Ideal Future, which will grant you the power of level 3, Vegeta. Sticking with Vegeta though, he also too comes with his own unique wish in Show Me The Full Moon, which once you use it, will trigger the Great Ape transformation scene and will give you the power of level 4, Great Ape Vegeta. Well, that's going to do it for today's episode. This was five things you may not have known in Dragon Ball The Breakers. Don't forget to like and subscribe and turn on your notifications so you don't miss when the next one goes live. And also comment down below. Let me know if you know any secrets, tips, or Easter eggs of this game that I did not cover that should probably be covered in the next one. But until next time, take care and peace. Bow to the king. That's right, bow to the king. Bow to the king. That's right, bow to the king. Bow to the king. That's right, bow to the king. Bow to the king. That's right, bow to the king.